time for some eye racing. Something new for the channel. We're doing the tour mods. Um, I was gonna do the SK modifieds. I don't honestly know the difference. I don't know if it's like the modifieds under or the 358 modifieds, the big block modifieds. One's a more powerful version. I don't know if they're the exact same car. I have. I know the tour mods is a C class race, and the SK mods is a D class race. I can tell you that much. But uh, other than that, I'm kind of lost. I haven't been in this car since probably August. Um, I don't even have a paint scheme, so it's default iRacing. Um, didn't really... I did have one for the SK mods, Take but it must be different. Approaching. I basically chose this race because it was the one that was going to start the soonest while also being fixed. I signed up for an SK modified race, and they're all taking place at Iowa, so... That's the fastest lap for leg down, I went into practice, I got like five feet out of the pit, Track temperatures falling. and was hitting the limiter. That was bad. Um, and I'm like, this is, something's wrong. This setup is terrible. Then I'm like, wait a minute. Did I sign up for open? The correct answer was yes, I did. And it had a setup for some other track I loaded up. So I immediately got out of there. And then I saw that the SK Modifieds place. fixed wasn't running for like another hour and a half. The tour mods was coming up in like half an hour. And I'm like, maybe I could do that. If you've watched my other videos, I've mentioned more than once how I used to run the SK mods and I was always the slowest car out there. And I wasn't the slowest car in practice. I was doing okay. But uh, what I did, and I should do this more often, is I was running like four or five tenths off the leaders. I'm like, God, whoa. I'm going in, I was braking, I was doing all this stuff. I was like, I just went and watched a lap that the leader did from cockpit view, and I'm like, he's doing this so much different. So then I started copying, and I still couldn't get up to that speed, but I gained like three tenths. I don't know if that's how you want to run the race. I feel like it's going to be really hard on the tires, but for qualifying, I definitely will. So here we go. It takes it looks clear. Okay, Justin, we've got two laps to get the job done. I don't know. Should I get a run out of here? The track temperature is decreasing. It's now 28 Celsius. That didn't feel right, but we'll see what happens. The leader has just done a 23.2. P2 that was a 23.2. No, nope, this lap isn't going to beat that last one. No way I'm gaining that much on this last turn. I just feel like this is just abusing the tires. I've got the wheel just cranked and I'm just pushing it. Um, yeah, I'll run some laps. Some practice. I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect with me in this race. Looks like we have a one... We're in the 1100 strength of field, so, and I'm the 7 car. I didn't look at how many are in this race. See, if I was just guessing the best way to run this, I would be like, all right, slow her down, get her down. Okay, this is a little too baby-ish, but... God, my wheel is just 
gear clunking so bad. I hope it's not coming through in the video, but I'm sure it is. I don't know why it's doing it for this car and track combo so much more than others. But, uh, I guess, I guess this is going to be a learning experience. See if, if I do this and everyone just pulls away and never comes back. Assuming cautions are a thing. This is C-Class. I know they weren't in the SK mods, but I don't think no cautions is a thing past D-Class. How much time do we have for qualifying? We still got a minute, 45 seconds. I'm still number two. See, this is an unexpected uh, result. And I'll be honest, I never would have thought to drive the lap the way I did had I not watched the guy who's running a fast laps lap, and you're probably thinking, well, duh, you should always look at the fast people and how they're doing it. And yes, I get that. Don't always do it, I guess. Whoa, that is actually a lift off. I've probably just abused these poor tires. Starting on the front row is kind of scary for a class I've literally never run, and if it is identical to the SK mods, which I don't know that it is, because I can't really tell by the feel because you, if it is identical, I haven't run this car in months, and I've never run it on this track. This is actually probably the, the biggest track I've run this car on, if it's the same. All right, let's see who we got. Oh, wow, 18 cars. That is a lot. A lot more than I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting here. We're the number seven. So, expectations, I guess. We've got a 400 I rating. Excuse me as I take a sip. 400 I rating is the 18 car. The number one car is 1600. P2. P2. Ah, ow, ow. I just do not understand how that happened. How many people? Oh, almost everyone put in a lap. Does that mean I'm gonna? I don't know what it means. I still got that ambient noise, um, background noise. I went into sound and I cranked this from zero to minus 20, but that's all I did. We got voice chat on, just nobody's talking. Probably better grid up before I get to jaw jacking and forget what I was doing. This is going to be, it's going to be interesting. Second time today running at Iowa Speedway. I'm trying to space my videos out one per day. So, and I did ARCA here earlier today. That video won't post till tomorrow. So this will post on Friday probably. This is the bane. My bane is starting outside pole. I am... Not good at it. I can kind of see the leader a little better here. Maybe that'll help me. My microphone is, the arm is uh, sagging a little. I keep adjusting it, but once the race starts, that's gonna be it. This is a two gear machine, so I have to make one shift. I'm assuming. Yeah, there's no way you start this in second gear. That's way too low of a gear. Or way too high of a gear. Something. That guy's like, I can't keep up with him because he's about pumping the pace car. Should be fun. 
me and my uh, generic eye racing paint scheme. That's okay though. Once the pace car's in, I'll try to get get up with this guy. I can see his wheel. That helps me keep up with him. Okay, Justin, be ready. Watch for the lights. Green, green, green. Uh, that guy's gonna get a good run on me. I'm just gonna be okay with that. Carlo, they're inside. Oh, 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 I say where. <laughs> All right. I'm okay with whatever here, other than Rex and Bull. Bull Three honky. Three. Don't have extra tires. Um, don't want to burn up what we have. I don't honestly know how much to expect the tires to wear. It's all part of the learning experience. I trust there. my spotter based on the mirrors. Still there. Well, I know he's beside me now. He's still there. We'll just let him go. I'm not gonna fight him. Be clear outside. That lap was out. 23.4. Clean race so far. The last lap time was at 3.6. Yeah, had a really bad lap as I basically just stopped racing to let that guy by. Can't see him up there. I I might need to if I race these more often. I might need to figure out a better uh, FOV and driver alignment and all that stuff. I got too much of a blind spot, or maybe that's just part of racing these. Six cars. He seems to have either a generic I racing scheme or just put that on his car. I guess I don't know what my car is. Nah, it's not a generic scheme. I don't really want to be in this fight. Well, I screwed that up. I got nervous. I'm gonna blame my poor visibility there. Let's just settle back into whatever the hell I fell off to. Did cause a caution. I don't think I screwed anyone up. Might have scared somebody, but... Let's settle back in. Trying to make a pass for like second or third and ended up back at eighth. The leader is checking out. Everyone else is in this big lot of cars. Where'd the yellow go? Oh, he's still. I got one spot back. Or was he a lap? God, I'm not paying attention. I didn't see any blue lanes, but we'll find out in a second here. Must have been a lap. Oh, no, he's still looking now. My mic has dropped a little bit. I don't know. I might have to talk louder. I was able to adjust it. I was slowly dropping on. I 
wa I don't watch back my whole video because I don't have all day to take double the time on these as it takes, but I, I just watch some of it to see how the video or the audio and video is. And I do have a tendency to mumble at times. I need to enunciate at all times. That last lap was at 23.6. A lot of it has to do with how concentrated I have to be. The next car is like that. Stop going under the apron. That is not. There's some, at least the SK mod, there were some tracks where you had ducking down on the apron. It was like a way Just to do it. But I would definitely not say that's the case here. wait for these tires to be just burned off. I feel like I'm just abusing them. Seventh position. That being said, I think I'd be ahead of some of these guys had I not did what I did. But of all the mistakes you could make, I'll watch it back. I think I got scared. I thought there was going to be a wreck. I did not want to be a part of it. There's sliding that's going on by these guys. I don't really know the best way to set up a pass or to get around people with these things. Looks like you can run about anywhere. Sorry, Kyle, I didn't mean to hit you. You're good, man. We're still good. Practice for side by side racing, I guess. Clear high. I'm just going to clear and get up below them. Yeah, that just basically reeled in everyone behind us. If you're in the middle, clear high. I'm in the middle. Don't tell me that, buddy. Unless you mean it. trying to get the mic out. Mic figured out, that's not good. We're not even halfway yet. Oh, I was gonna see some contact up there. Delta bar up. I never, uh, I hardly ever remember to put that thing up. One thing I didn't mess with at all is brake bias. I'm not hardly using the brakes, but maybe later in the run it'll be a thing that'll help me get some rotation. I don't like not being able to see cars. Half distance, we're looking good for fuel. What in the world? Maybe that's what I did earlier. 
scared the poop out of me. Sixth place. I got the pass done, though. Well, it was gifted to me, I guess. Car doesn't really feel like it's falling off too much to me. This is definitely a learning experience. Like I didn't know how hard I should be driving it from the start. Or with like the Arca car, I kind of I've done that one enough to know, you know. Passing low is, well, it's either tough or I'm just bad at it. Maybe the high life guy over in the, uh, the lane up high. To, I haven't really been purposely doing the high line. The lap time was 23.9. I know where to go. So worried about my mic. A little wiggle there was because I had one hand on the wheel. It's amazing how much you think you can one hand this down the straightaway and then you try it. And you're, you're like, no, apparently I can't hold. this Play guy and car outside. eventually get him. Still there. Still there. Yeah, I'm gaining. Maybe another Still turn trying. or two and I'll have him. Still there. Clear outside. Got him. I don't know if he had to back off or the wall. He's got a huge run. Trying to cross time. over. P5. Still there. I was hoping that would be the case, that I would have the momentum on the outside. And you know, this is kind of making me regret not running these more this season. I'm, I'm enjoying this, and not just because I'm doing fairly okay. It's, it's fun driving these cars. You know, did I figure something out and get better? It's possible that I'm just better all around, having put in more time in iRacing in general. Or it could be a lower strength of field. I'd like to think I'll eventually get out of these bottom splits. But, I mean, I don't want to be that guy who's like, yeah, I'm, I'm better than that. And just bad luck is keeping me down. I mean, I know you create your own luck for the most part. That was, that was a bad entry by me. I just decided to... Completely let off there. Definitely, if I before I run these things again, I'm going to do some Five, research into it. If it's easier to see, or if that's just part, because like right there, that car has just disappeared. I can kind of see him up there. I'm taking a really shallow entry right now too, because I'm afraid to go up there. Like, what if he hits the wall and I just destroy him because I can't see him? Lap time was at twenty three point eight. That goes into the wall. Wasn't close enough to be able to either want us to be able to take it, but Got a confession to make. My knees really hurt the longer these races go on. I need. I really want to build like a like a wooden rig. Not because I think it'll make me faster. Or Is that my fault, Dick? I 
think a better seating position would do me wonders for comfort. That was at 23.9. I got old man knees. I'm 42 years old and not a young kid playing this game. I just don't want to risk anything. I would love to get one or two of these positions. That would be awesome. But not because I took somebody out. I feel like I'm faster than him though now. But it's just really hard to get anything done. I just don't trust that he's not going to completely slam the door on me here. got loose. He was scared I was going to hit him. Completely let off. Should be safe behind if I don't screw up. So sh this should be the minimum position I get. I don't know. I'm just so worried about hitting him that I just back off. This is where a more talented person in my situation would probably definitely have made a pass by now. Two laps to go. Car outside. Two laps remaining. Still there. Still there. He's still there. I might be able to get him if I don't. Still there. Cock it up. Clear high. Clear him, clear him, clear him. Go, 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 go. Oh, one lap. Okay. P4, that's it. We're done. Go race, guys. I had a place where I don't think I'm going to get destroyed and get off the track. Stretch my knees out. Okay, that was. Loads of fun. Fourth place, started second, so that was actually a drop back. But after my uh, my mess, oh, I got other. I'm not the only one. Oh wow, there's a lot of us. <laughs> it's gonna make it look a little uh, boring. Oh, there's another one. Apparently, and I think I see another one back there, running the. Uh, um, let's look at incidents if there are any. I'm like, what? what? I don't remember that happened to me. I'm the seven that looks like that. Oh, uh, that's... Yeah, next time I race, I'm going to have some paint scheme. I don't know what, but... It's not going to be that generic eye racing one that apparently at least five of us were running. 18 into the wall? I don't think I ever had any wall contact. Nine full send into the wall. Oh, and gets hit from behind. By the 10, I believe. 
Oh, he kind of got spooked up by the eight or the eighteen there. Are you kidding me? What a clean race. Um, I kind of want to find my uh my mistake if that's in there anywhere. Well, I mean, it is in there if I can figure it out. How early on was that? Good chance it's that one, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, maybe. I'm still fourth. I just got into the apron. I just had to slow down, make sure I didn't spin it, and I lost so many spots. But what did I fall back to eighth? And then I clawed my way back to fourth. I'm act, I'm I'm happy with that. That's that's a pretty good race for me, considering I've never raced this actual series before. And if I've raced this car before, I'm not sure <laughs> if the SK is the same. It's been a long time, and I've never raced it at Iowa. I might do that again. Not record it, but it was fun. But my knees are screaming. I need to stand up. So. That's it for now. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.